So in this video, we are going to be doing a unboxing. I'm going to show you how to use the Wood Repair Kit Pro from Woodwork Supply UK. So what do we get in the box? What do you actually get in the Pro Kit? So first of all, you get this industrial strength glue gun. It takes the 12 mil glue stick, you can also use any other brand if you so wish. It also has this temperature dial on the bottom for setting the temperature because different glue sticks require different temperatures for optimum melting. It also has this very sturdy metal stand. It also has a smaller stand in the box. So it seems very well made and quite sturdy. You get a little flush trim plane, which is used for taking off the excess of the melted glue sticks. We have this silicone mould, which is for using when you purge the excess out of the gun when you change the sticks, so you can reuse the extra bits. We get a spare nozzle, you get the aluminium cooling block for when you're doing the actual melting of the glue sticks. You get an assortment pack of eight sticks, four different colours, for you to try. There is actually a full 16 colours in the range available at the minute and also a set of instructions. Why the wood kit? Quite often with really, really small little cracks and knots, I just grab a bit of black O3A adhesive and sort of put it in the crack using one of the little fire nozzle applicators, bit of accelerator spray, and then within a couple of minutes you can sand it back, job done. Now the problem is with some of these deeper voids or the bigger knots, it would take that much super glue, it's just not a feasible option. Likewise with resin. If you want to use resin, great. Problem being, it's 24, 48 hours before you can do anything with this workpiece. And we want to increase our productivity, really. So this is where this wood kit really comes into its own. Um, I never have ever, ever used this kit before. This is generally the first time I've ever switched the gun on and used it. So we can see how easy it is to use indeed. So the gun's all warmed up. And it's just a case of applying it into the void by pulling the trigger. You're going to take the alloy block and you press it down. This does two things. It presses all the glue into the void and also the alloy disperses the heat so it dries really quickly. Just after a few seconds, you can pull it off. We then take the flush trim plane and we just work it across the top. <laughs> I'm actually genuinely impressed with that. That is really good. So we've got a few other different ones here that I want to try to see if they react different and we'll also go through a few of the other applications that we can use with it. We have just a piece of walnut, exactly the same, got a deep knot. And of course you'll need to give it a quick sound before you apply any finish. Most finishes will stick to this, it is also food safe. It's toxic free. Um, just certain finishes like Rubio Monaco, which you know I use an awful lot, will not stick to this because it's not fibrous woods. One other thing I thought it might be worth trying to see if we could do is almost use it as an inlay. So what I've done is I've actually cut this little pore shape out on the CNC. And I just want to see if it'll work or not. So it is using quite a lot because I've done it a little bit too deep to be honest. I don't think I actually waited quite long enough there because it's actually smudged slightly. So we'll just try, see if we can indeed reapply a bit more into the void to see if you can also do like a, a repair on a repair. Of course, with it being deeper, it will take a little bit longer for the hot glue to, to go off. Yeah, that's worked absolutely fine. So as you can see, as an inlay, that actually really works. Um, I might even try doing a pattern at some other point with all the different colours, see how that works out. But yeah, that's uh, exceeded my expectations. So when it comes to where we actually need to change the colour, it's very important under no circumstances do you pull this stick back out of the gun backwards because you will damage the mechanism, I believe. So to do this, we just put the normal stick, another stick in. 
and then we use this little green block and what we're going to do is use this hole here insert the nozzle and you just squeeze the gun to purge through you can see so that one's done we just move it round and we just keep going until we get the new colour out the idea being that we can actually reuse these little sticks later on. There you go. And from that one you can see that the new colour has now indeed come out. To try a little bit of the pine coloured one on this bit of spot of the beach where there's quite a bit of a soft area to see. To see. Oh. So that in fact hadn't purged quite as much as I thought it had. So maybe when doing a colour change, just go that little bit further than what you actually think, because as you can see there, it's a mixture of the pine and the black colour. Which to be honest, on a spalted beach plank, probably isn't a bad thing at all. But again, that's gone in really well. Feels nice and solid. You can do is quite often on pine you get these little holes inclusions through the side of the corner piece i couldn't actually find one so i've just drilled a hole for the purpose of this now again you just put your nozzle in squeeze it out you put your block on one side for a couple of seconds block on the other side for a couple of seconds You trim it off. And there you can see it's gone straight through a corner joint, not a problem. Overall, I'm super impressed with this wood repair kit. I will most certainly be using it in future projects and repairs and see what else I can actually indeed do with these items. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I shall get back to you as soon as I see them. And thank you very much all for watching. I'll see you later.